Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. How are y'all doing? I thought I'd try a new game. Welcome to Kitty Powers Matchmaker. You eat that. You eat that. You be a good lady. Oh, don't touch yourself there. <laughs> All right, let's just get into it. <laughs> I'm Super Paul Games if I didn't mention it, though I probably should not have mentioned it. Welcome, kitten. My name's Kitty Powers, and I'm your new boss. Scandalous. Um, okay. Your mission is to expand this sad little branch of my dating agency to its full potential. All right. Do this by finding love for as many clients as possible. But before you get started, we need to take down your particulars. Now, tell me about yourself. All right, I, I I didn't know if I should make up like a fake character or kind of go with myself. Well, this isn't really my birthday, but I, I, I you know, whatever. <laughs> Give me all the gossip. I find women most attractive. Um, I don't really care what eye color. I prefer they have eyes, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I guess we got blue eyes. I prefer dark hair. Black's good. Dark brown's good. Light brown's good. Not really into blonde so much. Ginger's all right. Yeah, I want the white-haired granny. Give me that shaggy white bush. Ooh, red, yes. Dusty pink. Oh, I like pink hair, too. I sound like a whore. I like purple. I've dated people with pink or purple or green hair. Blue, um, butts. Uh, I can't decide. So many choice. We'll just go with black hair. What type do you feel you relate to most? Uh, I'm definitely not a hippie. I'm definitely not glam <laughs> Nobody thinks of me of glamour. I'm mostly like a, a homeless guy in a like torn flannel shirt and like stains on my shirt. I'm super edgy. You can probably say I'm vintage. I do like sports. I'm not a hipster. I can't decide. I should have streamed this so I could let people decide. I used to make cartoons for a living. I would say I'm lazy. Where's lazy? I do have a guitar I play though. I guess I'll go with practical. Ah. What was the ah? Was that condescending? Or you just ah? So you're proud? Shut the fuck up! What do you like to look like? Really? Really? This guy? Come on, g give me a better choice. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, can I edit it? Um. Okay. No, I don't want to be that old. <laughs> Uh, can I lose the earring? There we go. No, I don't want to be a poindexter. <laughs> yeah, I love that! It looks like a creepy guy who's gonna be in a trailer park. Um, let's change the eye color. Ironically, if I grew my hair out and I made it, um, a different color, this could be me. Alright, how did I get back to the hair? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> oh, I have to put a shirt on? Screw that. Oh, I can pick my clothes? I'm having too much fun with this. Inner clothes? Is it because I picked practical? I get that. Ooh, I would like the red shirt and outer clothes. No, fuck a hoodie. Oh. All this dweeb wear. Yeah, I'm going to walk around like a chef. May I cook you with something? <laughs> I'm wearing the hillbilly overalls. <laughs> now it's time to probe the innermost depths of your personality. Uh, all right. <sighs> if you have a pet, would you rather have a dog that needs lots of walks, or a cat just needs feeding? A cat, because I'm lazy. Ah. Does that mean I win? Which gadget would you prefer? Prefer a pedometer? Is that so I can find podiatrist or massage chair? Oh, chair. I'm lazy. Eh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Eh. It's like you're, you're phoning it in at that moment that you care. You visit a famous landmark, but the lift is busted. Lift? What is this communist foreign language? It's an elevator. Do you walk up the hundreds of stairs or find a pub? I do like drinking, but if I went all the way to a famous landmark, I might as well walk up and see it. Eh. When it comes to work, do you never take days off or pull sick you now and then? I, anyone who knows me knows I'm a workaholic in real life. 
Hmm. When you go to the movies, you prefer factual based storylines or prefer fantasy? I like both, actually. Ah. I guess we'll go with fantasy. I usually watch documentaries at home, that's why. When you're on a holiday, would you rather have an itinerary or take each day as it comes? Each day as it comes. Mm. <laughs> ah! Ooh! Ooh! When in country, would you rather trust your own instincts or ask other people's opinions? Instincts, because fuck everyone else in their mm. vagina holes. When playing video games, would you rather play single player strategy or play a pass the pad party game strategy? Uh. With regard to social networking, do you add a few people selectively or as many as possible? A few friends. Ah. When you have a party, do you send out invites by post or create an event on a social network? What are friends and parties? I, d I don't know. Who actually sends invites by post anymore? Uh, a social network. Ah. Eh. When watching TV, do you watch shows as they're broadcast or watch demand on your tablet? Who can afford a tablet? My tablet's a piece of cardboard I drew a picture of a dick on. I mean, v boobs and vagina. It wasn't a dick. Um, on demand, though. Who's got time to sit and run watch commercials? <gasps> Unless it's sports. Sports I'd rather watch live. Which gadget would you rather have? A new potato pillar or the latest smartphone? Who the fuck pills... Pe Who the hell is like, yeah, give me that potato pillar! <laughs> give me a smartphone. Hmm. If you go out for the evening, would you rather go to a poetry reading? No, or burlesque show. Um... I'd rather stay at home because I'm an introvert and I hate everyone. Uh, we'll pick a burlesque show because I've never been to one. Yeah. When you're on holidays, would you prefer a trip to a fairy tale castle or beach full of bronze bodies? Castle, because I'm fat. Yeah. Fat people love castles. <laughs> so, someone you fancy wants to come, you to come in for coffee. Do you clean the cafeteria or clean your bed linen? Um, bed linen? Because I don't like coffee, so hopefully we can just fuck. After all that, this is better be correct. Are you sure? Look at that sexy, sexy man. <laughs> He's gonna plow your fields, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies, if you get excited and goo a little bit. He's got overalls, so the mess doesn't get everywhere. <laughs> he doesn't even look thrilled by life. The worst thing is that's how I look most of the time. Relax, carefree, and introvert, experimental, and spicy. Yeah, he definitely looks spicy. Yeah, that's all correct. I'll stick all your details onto your ID card, so I remember your name. <laughs> you do that. If you need me, I'm just at the other end of the kitty phone. Oh. I'll even give you some coins to get you started, because I'm generous like that. I don't even know what's going on, thanks. Your avatar will be sent anonymously to other players' games as a secret shopper. No, what? Seriously? I, I, no, no, <laughs> that better, not, I hope you're kidding, because I do not want anyone else to get on Steam and play this game and find that character and date that really creepy character I just made. I don't want to be like, oh, that's a hilarious character, and then like, t Google it and be like, oh, it's a real person. Don't worry, nobody will see the name you enter here. We'll give you a fake one. Uh, I don't know if that's better or worse. Your avatar's dates will generate your personalized dating data. Telling you your dream day. Oh! Uh, allow my avatar to be updated online and send me information about my dating adventures? <laughs> Seriously, you can? Oh, fuck it. If they're not gonna use my name, why not? Check your letterbox for feedback on how your virtual love life is going. So I can get rejected by people that aren't even real now. Wow. We need to find you some customers. Where should we advertise first? I don't know. Let's see, at the comic book store, at the club, or the discotheque? Yeah, because these are all so fucking me. Do the club. Let's stick some posters up in the local alternative <laughs> nightclub. What? That should get some edgy customers what? in. What? How, how desperate are you saying I am where I need to fucking put posters up saying please date me? I'm not that desperate, thank you. I may be desperate, but I'm not so desperate that I'm like, Oh, I need to put up a poster, please touch my wiener. Way to hard rock there, nice guitar. Okay, let's get you started with your first client. Press the play button. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, they're like, you're too stupid to do anything else, honey. There's one button, just press it. Oh, did I do it wrong? See, I know how to press a button. I don't know what you were all thinking. Screw everybody. This is your lobby. 
Yeah. New clients will arrive here looking for love. You. All right. Click your selected client and then take them to the hot seat. Is that my penis? Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Ah, I'm Mona and I'm a white witch. I'm looking for a man. Burn the witch. Burn. What are you doing? Settle down, honey. You're just happy to be in public, aren't you? You're like, I finally get out of the house. All right. Sit down. Let's find out about you. <laughs> Greetings, my name's Mona. God, your voice could kill people. Mm. I'm a white witch, and I'm looking for a man. All right, good for you. Mm. I'm interested in fire juggling, tattoos, and body piercings. All right. Mm. And I have a preference mm. for brown hair and purple eyes. Is purple eyes even a thing? Mm. Can you locate a suitable love match? Yeah, mm. sure. Kitty's like, they're a bit of an edgy type, aren't they? Sure, whatever. Suitable candidates for your client are marked in pink in my little black book. Ah, oh, great. You know what, uh, Mona? That means that this drag queen might have fucked whoever you're going to date. Just this once, I'll show you the best one. Click on them to scrutinize their intimate particulars. You mean I gotta look at their dicks? I don't want that job. I don't want to be like, Elijah, can you show me my dick? This is your the dick. hot seat. Now mind. you compare your client's profile with the potential candidates. Alright. The one I've pointed out is clearly the best match. Choose them by pressing the date button. How do I know that he's the best match? Oh, they have the same star sign. He's a milk delivery person and she's got tits which make milk. So that's good. Um, and they both have body piercings. Let's go on a date, bitches! Yeah, whatever. Keep an eye on the restaurant you want to send them to to impress their date. Let's see, I could send them to a Jamaican restaurant? <laughs> like, why are you Jamaican me go, man? A British uh, restaurant? Or God bless America. Some restaurants are more difficult, but we'll earn you more. Never interrupt me when I sing about America, lady. And don't take someone to the same place twice, because that's a dating faux pas. Fox pa, you mean. Hmm. No, I wanted America! What the fuck? Ah! Really? Nobody goes out for English food. Even the English don't. That's why they eat so much curry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to take us to the American restaurant. The night's so much. arrived at the restaurant. We can Ow. watch them through the secret cameras I've had installed. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! This is the creepiest dating service ever! I hooked them up and I put up cameras so we can watch! Ew. You need to guide them through their dates by making decisions for them via their earpiece. Choose wisely. King Salmon, is that some sort of penis joke? Mm. Good night, <laughs> Kings. This restaurant produces highly nutritious food, apparently! God, you are so simple. Mm. Greetings, fellow human. I surmise you are the Elijah one. Uh, mm. uh, yes, I am. You must, you, you must be Mona. I, I would like to maybe make you Mo 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 if that's not Mona. <laughs> Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. Yeah. Uh, and th that's a nice place, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah, affirmative. I'd like to agree with that conclusion. Yeah. I love your brown eyes. Ew, you just said you want like a brown eye, dude. If you're gonna go in the back door, don't don't mention that right away. Mention later on you wanna work your way to her brown eye. Oh, oh, these eyes, my bad. Gratitudes, they're both genuine as well. Yeah, like I'm worried that you have two fake glass eyes. I saw you walk in here. Huh. She's like, well, there could be context, dummy! Eyes, one of the least erogenous zones in the human body. I don't know. Let me put my dick in your eye, we'll see if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Your purple hair is giving me a pleasant sensation! Dude! Apparently he doesn't know anything about girls, because when she said that, he's just like, Ooh. Uh, thanks, I just had it done. <clears throat> Good evening! Oh, he's English. I, can't, I don't have any English accents. <laughs> no, it's still... Good evening! Can I take your order? <laughs> I don't... Affirmative! What is your preferred sustenance? 
Um, I'd like something cold with red meat. Would you like my pants meat? Oh. Also, I'm trying to avoid wheat. Oh my god, you're an exciting date. I'm so glad we're going out with you. I hope you remembered what they said, because now you have to pick something they like. Um, cured ham salad. Oh, that sounds gross. If you're not sure what the dish is, you uh, can tip the waiter fuck. and ask them by pressing the question button. Uh, is this English food for real? Just this once, I'll show you the correct option. All right. Don't say I never did anything for you. I require two rations of cured ham salad, please. A very nice choice. I don't even know if that was a word. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Maybe your lady parts are delicious. I can try them. Dude, Elijah, that's not appropriate. Mm. Yes, it does. I mean, full agreement. I don't know what the hell that was about. Mm. Oh, I pull, it's time to pull the love handle. I was pulling my love handle right before this. <laughs> I wasn't really, but... It, Oh, that's creepy. Pick a conversation topic you think they'll agree on. Uh, what are those? Hair and trannies? I'm not sure. If you don't see one you like, you can spend coins to use the nudge button. Whatever. But be careful not to repeat yourself, or they won't be impressed. <laughs> facial decor or hairstyle? Wow, wow. The deep, deep things people care about. Let's talk about facial decor. Have you got any thoughts about my gothic makeup? Are you fucking kidding me, woman? Are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe that. You don't go on a date and just be like, What do you think of the way I look? Give me attention. I'm desperate. <laughs> uh, it, looks, it looks really great. It suits you. <laughs> Very generous with your compliments, you are. What are you, Yoda? <laughs> I recommend a trial for full makeup coverage. <laughs> do you like my soul patch, then? Oh. Maybe they are made for each other. They're both desperate for compliments. Of course she's gonna say something nice. Unless she's an asshole. Who goes on a date and they're like, Do you like the way my face looks, baby? Ha! Shut up. <laughs> Your use of style is most efficient. <laughs> ah, thanks. I feel really great now. <clears throat> the dinner is served. Later that evening... See, look, they haven't even touched their little English ham wow. food. All right, let me pull my love handle again. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm done with facial decor. How about a hairstyle? Mm. Is my hairstyle attractive to you? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah. great. It really suits you. <laughs> I'm through the hair. Mm. Uh, what do you think of my hair, then? How have I not been better at dates? I'm actually really good at first dates. It's after that I'm not so good. <laughs> I'm extremely attracted by it. <laughs> oh, I feel like a million dollars. <laughs> yes, but what about my hair? I don't care. <clears throat> Perhaps you'd like to beg for something from my well stock dessert toilet. I mean, trolley. They're mostly the same thing. <laughs> I shouldn't, yeah. but it won't hurt just this once. <laughs> Marvelous, allow me to fetch the trolley for your perusal. I didn't factor in the appearance of a dessert trolley. What's it matter, honey? Are you paying for it? Are you not bring enough money? <laughs> oh, oh, look, here it comes. The waiter's about to bring out a load of tasty desserts. Pay close attention to the order they're in. I do whatever the fuck I want! You'll have to remember them, as their date will be too busy salivating to remember their name. You can go suck a dick. <sighs> Double espresso. Oh, sh spotted dick. <laughs> Oh crap! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the fourth one looks really. Uh, the fourth one looks really nice. I only paid attention to the double express cappuccino and spotted dick. I don't. I, I, I don't take that out of context. This affirmative. It's clearly the most nutritious dessert available. Oh. Oh. I would have got it. I have a memory leak. Which one was the fourth one again? It was the Knickerbocker Glory. Which the finger is, I don't know, giving the shock or two. Confirmed! <laughs> we'll require one ration of Knickerbocker glory, please! <laughs> it's our most popular dessert! It'd be more popular if you shut up and got me some. Please. You eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious! I'm looking forward to digging into that. <laughs> this d their dessert choice was completely predictable! This is why I don't understand women. 
What do you mean? You sit around all night being like, I know exactly what they're going to want for dessert. Even later that evening. <laughs> yeah, you pull that love handle. You pull it all night long. Uh. Horoscope? Okay, we'll talk about that. I love horse. What's your opinion of horoscopes? Uh. I find them fascinating. More like assinating if you cover the F. <laughs> I think they're transient entertaining. I don't know words. I just pretend I do. <laughs> I'm pleased we agree. Honey, why aren't you an author? With, with, with this amazing way you have writing and relating to people. I'm glad we agree. Hmm. I'm a Pisces. What are you? Hmm. My birth sign is Pisces. Is this good? <laughs> We're astrologically <laughs> perfect. Can I check out your ass? <laughs> Excellent! Our futures are well placed for success! Your conversation I find riveting! <laughs> uh, should we get the bell? <laughs> I predict the radio the, the, What? What's hard? I predict the waiter will be located in the immediate vicinity. Oh. I only have a vague memory of the waiter's features. Well, like, who cares? Mm. So we actually have to remember which waiter it is. What kind of bullshit is that? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Here's your bill. Mm. You have a gratitude. Uh, I need mm. your money, though. Or, well, spotted. I'd forgetting what they look like. <laughs> My memory banks are functioning at normal levels. She's a fucking robot. She's a robot. Mm. Uh, I guess it's time to go. Mm. <laughs> It'd be expedient for us to leave, then. Oh. Are you gonna... What? Oh, I, th I thought they were not going together. <laughs> they fulfill the criteria beyond my imagining. Honey, you should start a sex phone hotline with that kind of talk. I like the things you might be doing to my orifice. Depending on how much your client likes their date, you now have up to three options. Uh, can't we just ask him to go down on our vagina? Will you go out with me again? Yes, I'm sure. Ask it, you bitch. <laughs> So, would you, uh, like to be my significant other? What? No, I, I'm, I said ask for another date, not ask him to be your boyfriend. <laughs> yes, I think I'm in love with you. Oh, creepy. One date, and they say that you might want to back up, unless you've already known them for a long time. <laughs> Task complete. True love has been achieved. What? <laughs> hey, I'm all excited. I am... What? No, if you go on a date... If you go on a date, and it's a blind date, or you've been hooked up through a matchmaking service, and at the end of the first date they tell you they're in love with you, run. Run. Far. Away. Now, if you've known them for a long time and they've been a friend, that might be different, but... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get some. Apparently you have a long dick. Oh, I'm gonna get it wet tonight. Oh, this water isn't water, it's vaginal secretion. Oh, God. Gross. That's hot. Let's get my love stick out. Oh, they become a couple. Congratulations. Romantic union has been achieved. I always say that too when I couple with a woman. After sex, romantic union has been achieved. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your reputation level has improved after that date. You'll now attract a more affluent client. I like that my guy here is this, the creepy hillbilly. And he's fine. I found my soulmate. Oh, that is hilarious. I know, that is just too good. Well done. You're now officially a matchmaker. Matchmaker, matchmaker, find me a man. Well, everybody, um, I don't know if I'm going to do more episodes of these or not. But we, we, we help two idiots find true love, and what's better than that? And if, God forbid, you find a character like this in the game you're playing with a different name, it's certainly not me. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'll see y'all next time.